mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You left hospital. Man of God. You are just coming from hospital. Jesus. Come. Wait for me in front. I'm seeing your spirit. You are just from hospital. Yes, man of God. And then I'm seeing you being put in the mortuary. <laughs> Madam, listen. Let me tell you something. You died yesterday, Saturday. You, you are just living by grace. You died yesterday. I don't have to come here today. Don't worry. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Snakes are following you in your dream. Yes, man of God. I even swim. In you the even water swim. With I swim. You I swim in water with snakes. Yes. Take this woman outside. This woman died in the realm of the spirit. She died yesterday, Saturday. Where are you coming from? From Drama. She's my friend. She's always sick all the time. Don't worry. Move outside. She will not die. If you say amen, that grace will be shared to you. Votre culte prophétique dominical et nous sommes dans la mouvance de la prière. D'où le peuple de Dieu est venu de loin et de près pour chercher la face de Dieu concernant les situations à laquelle il traverse et l'éternel est en train d'utiliser son serviteur son oracle pour apporter un toucher de délivrance dans la vie un toucher de restauration comme notre famille s'y présente est en train de célébrer <rire> Jesus hey you are what save your now I was you alone now what it to be praised you alone now what it to be praised oh thank you Jesus I'm free please everybody clap for this woman Sister, you're welcome to the temple of the Lord's Church. God bless you. Thank you. Can you please give us your names, where you're coming from, and how you got to know about the temple of the Lord's Church? I'm called Zemo Teresia Oben. I'm from uh, Sonel Lokbaba. My friend and my sister. I came here through my friend and her sister, Tia Paulette. She invited me here. Sister, is this your first time of visiting the temple of the Lord's Church? Yes, sister. And during the live service, the man of God gave you some words of prophecies. Yes. The man of God said, you are just from the hospital. And from what he can see as a prophet, he sees you in the hospital dead yesterday and you are even being carried in the mortuary in the spirit. You left hospital. Man of God. You are just coming from hospital. Jesus. Come. Come. Wait for me in front. I'm seeing your spirit. You are just from hospital. Yes, man of God. And then I'm seeing you being put in the mortuary. <laughs> Madam, listen. Let me tell you something. You died yesterday, Saturday. You, you are just living by grace. You died yesterday. How true are these words of prophecy in your life? What is that situation that you have been going through that has kept you being in the hospital in and out? Yes. 
high blood pressure. I started with high blood pressure. Always going to the hospital. One time, it, always, it almost led, led to paralysis. But by the grace of God, it was fine. But on Tuesday, I just slept in the night. I dreamed that I had a wound on my leg. Which I got up, I took my anointing oil, I prayed. I anointed myself, I went to school because I'm a teacher. On Tuesday, nothing, 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 not see anything. Wednesday, I came back from school, nothing. That Wednesday at about uh, 3 o'clock in the night, I just felt my leg, a severe pain on my leg going down as if something is eating me on my leg. That is how it started. From that 3 o'clock till morning, I could not sleep. So I have to call my brother. My brother came very early at about 6 o'clock, took me to the hospital. I could not even move. So when we reached the hospital, they said I should do radio. They went further, they did it, all the other tests. Finally, they said I should go back again and come the next day. So when I went and came back, the pain was too much. They had to inject me. Then after the interpretation of the result, they told me, I have a big mass, something like a very big one on, in my stomach that has caused the nerves of my leg to be the way they be, I cannot move. So that is what the doctor told me. And that I have to go for another test on Monday, another radio, and then they will operate me. So that is the situation. Sister, you're making us to understand that just last week you had all this confrontation with the doctors in the hospital, and you were even programmed to be operated upon tomorrow Monday. Am I correct? Yes, sister. And your friend invited you to come and seek the face of God concerning your situation. Am I correct? True, sister. The man of God also said, in your dreams, you see snakes following you. Snakes are following you in your dream. Yes, man of God. I even swim. In you the even water swim. With I swim. You I swim in swim. water with snakes. Yes. How true are these words of prophecies in your life? Yes, it's very true. I used to sleep at times. I dream how I swim in the river with snakes. Swim every time with snakes. All my dream used to center around snakes, snakes, snakes. But I'm not afraid. I'm swimming with them freely. I'm not afraid. So the prophecy is true. And today, by the special grace of God, the man of God prayed with you and declared you healed and said, you will not die prematurely. She will not die. Amen. If you say amen, that grace will be shared to you. How do you feel coming here for the very first time, receiving these words of prophecies, which are exactly what is happening in your life, and receiving prayers and deliverance from his servant prophet A. Boris. I feel so delighted. When I was coming here, when my friend told me about this place, I was coming. I just meditated. I had pain. I was feeling pain on my leg. But as I'm standing here now, after all the prophecy, everything, I'm feeling very fine. I feel comfortable. I just feel as to just remain here to save God all the rest of my life because I'm free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Your faith has indeed set you free. More than we know, many people are watching you. Some are going through the same thing that you have been facing. And some of them are going through other challenges. What will be your word of advice to them watching you on Temple TV? I just wish to advise those who are going through similar situations like mine. That they should not uh, go far from God. When you have this situation... The doctor's report is the doctor's report. Seek the first of God, and God is going to heal you. The same God that healed me will heal you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sister, we join you and your family to celebrate your healing and deliverance. We know when God reveals, you redeem. And whoever God has set free is free indeed. Amen. We want to appreciate the power of God upon your life and his saving and healing power. We pray as you go back, may you continue to make God's word a standard for your life so that this healing and deliverance that you have received through his servant prophet Aborys today will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm free. My family is free. Thank you, Jesus.